Hey there, uh, I've been running my Q5 match in 9mm shooting some bowling pin matches and my current setup is a Vortex Venom 2MOA red dot I've got a Taylor Freelance flared magwell and I'm running the plus 6 Taylor Freelance uh, magazine extensions I'll run two magazines, I won't really go more than like one and a half. Uh, shooting nine millimeter you're, you are disadvantaged in bowling pin shoots. You can knock the pins down but the later rounds you have trouble because the bowling pins don't roll as well. My losses were basically due to the bowling pins hanging on the edge of the table and I would hit it with a nine mil but it wouldn't get it over the hole that was created. <coughs> um, the Taylor Freelance stuff has some really nice machine work. Uh, they obviously sandblasted before they anodized their aluminum base pads and their flared magazine wells are really nice. Uh, you can't use the stock base pads on the magazines the stock Walther base pads on the magazines and with this magwell it just doesn't fit. You got a little bit of a clearance issue right about here. Other than that, I mean, it's a fun competition gun. Uh, with the magwell and the red dot you're outside of the enhanced service pistol limits for IDPA which I was going to try but didn't want to pull everything off overall I'm really liking the Q5 match a lot of the bowling pin shoots are running 124 grain Freedom Munitions Reman FMJs and that seems to be working rather well. I think the power factor on that's about 135. But it's a good setup. I just wish I had a 40 caliber slide or I got a 45 caliber uh, PPQ to compete with. Which that might be in the works sometime. Thanks for watching.